I'm headed south here, uh, you know, and, and I'm uh, kind of, you know, doing a circle now. Been uh, almost four hours on my shed hunt, or a little more. Anyways, I look straight ahead of me. I'm walking right into it. There's my first fresh, or uh, uh, there's my first fresh uh, deer shed of uh, 2020. It's a hanger. It's, hang it's, it's hanging on that bush there. I'll bring it in. I love them hangers. Persistence pays off, I'm telling you. It's a lot of footwork I put on. Finally, I got lucky. The more effort you put into a shed hunt, as you shed hunters know, the luckier you'll get. Let's go and take a look at it. It's a fresh one, I know that, because I can see the blood from here on the base. There it is, right there. Yeah, it's great. It's not far from where I found them big matching sets there about uh, two years ago. It's about maybe 100 yards. <laughs> so the deer like it in here. Anyways, I'm gonna look around for the other one. Deer scats right there. Yeah, I'm quite happy. It's a little, uh, it's a little, uh, it's a little three point though. The guard snapped off. <clears throat> I'll take a few pictures and look around for the other one. this way I've been about 20 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes looking for the other side of that white tail shack couldn't find it circled all around a big 360 out nothing <clears throat> but I'm coming along here and I look down to my right here and there's another fresh uh, white tail shed right there right there Right there. Better than a kick in the ass, you know, it pays off to to go and go. Let's go down and take a look at it. Doesn't look like it's that big. Anyways, it's a fresh shed. Better than nothing. Nice little four point. There it is right there. It's been off for a while because there's no blood in the base. Oh, that's great. I'm happy. I didn't get the skunk. Finally, I got rewarded with my effort. Anyways, I'll pick it up and look around. You know, this shed's about, uh, this other one's about <clears throat> maybe about 50 yards from, from that other one I found. So it's a nice little place I found here. You know, I'm going to keep it to myself. Zigzagging along here. I've been about another half an hour or 20 minutes trying to you know look find some more uh, white tail sheds and there's my second hanger of the year. I can't believe it. It's the first time I found two hangers in, in one day in a long time. It might be a match to that other one. I think it is a match to that other one. I'm so, I'm so freaking pumped about this. There, there it is there.
right there. Oh, that's just great. Let's go take a look at it. Haha, <laughs> this is great. I got a little honey hole here for white tail sheds. There it is there. A hanger. Just the way it is. I'm sure glad it's zigzag back along this face. Haha. <laughs> ah, this is just great. I'll take some pictures and I'll keep looking around here. There we go, matching set. February the 3rd, Monday, 2020. Great, nice find. I had to walk all the way back in here, a long ways to get back in here. It took me two hours, straight walking. Anyways, it paid off. I could drive, you know, real close to this spot, you know, if I had my truck insured, but it, you have to have a truck to get in here. Anyways, I'll take a couple pictures of them like that and pick them up and look around more. This one's about, um, probably about 80 yards up from where I found the first one. Pretty well right in line. It's just after 5 p.m. I'm going for about an hour and 20 minutes or so from where I found these white tail sheds. I'm about halfway back. I still got about another hour and a half to to go, or maybe maybe a little less to get back to my vehicle. It'll be uh, dark by the time I get back to my vehicle. It's a good thing I know which way I'm going because I'll be, I'll be going in the timber here a bit in the dark. Anyways, I gotta get huffing or maybe I'll get back before dark. It'll be close anyway. I'll shut her down. <laughs> 